Hey everybody, welcome back. As you can see, I'm not in the shops today. I am actually around my mum and dad's. Yep, it's another Christmas present come early for them. Uh, last year it was doing their bathroom and this year I'm gonna be putting in their new wardrobes. Now they've gone for the IKEA mirror fronted sliding doors and my dad, bless him, he did have an idea of um, how he was gonna run the top runner and when I came around, it was just awful. I, I, I could just see it just falling apart and my mum being distraught, going nuts, having a divorce, everything. So I kindly stepped in and said, if they wanted me to, I would do it for them. So today I'm gonna be making some platforms. Now, as you can see, it's been wallpapered and it's not been wallpapered terribly good. That's my dad for you. So I came up with the idea of making a platform. Now this platform hopefully should keep all the wallpaper in and just tidy it up a bit. So the first thing we need to do today is check in the ceilings where the joists are. Now I'm gonna be uh, running a piece of three by two along there and that's gonna be holding the top rail into place. So I need to make sure that that is really nice and solid. So stick around and let's see how we get on. So the problem we're having is that we're working with an old house. Now, this house especially is just all crooked. The, luckily, the only thing that's level is the floor. All the walls, the ceiling, all out. So I'm having to try and think of the best way to run this um, to have the top rail in place. Um, I'm going to be fixing a piece of 3x2 to the ceiling and then running some notchings down from that where I can then hang another piece of 3x2 to fix the rail onto. Now the, the doors are approximately uh, 225 centimetres and that's given a little bit of clearance for the runners top and bottom. So I've, I've worked that out and I've measured it onto the walls. So I've marked on the wall 225 centimetres from the flooring and that's there. So that's where the uh, 3x2 needs to go, the bottom of the 3x2 needs to go. So we're running into our first problem. I thought that the ceiling was going to be pretty flat, but it's not. It's probably off by at least an inch and a half to two inches from this side of the ceiling to that side. Not going to be too much of an issue. I'm going to be cutting some packers using the 3x2 that I've got, and hopefully I've got some long screws in there anyway, so hopefully that will equal it out and we'll be able to get a nice level surface. Right, so that packer worked. So I'm just going through now and just filling all the gaps just to make sure I've got an even pressure across the whole of the timber. Okay, I've got both of these sides in now. Uh, it's only temporary because they need to have a channel in them. So when I run the lower and the upper rails, when the doors are in, I can see where I need to route out a channel so uh, the doors can inset into this piece of wood. I now need to figure out a way to uh, run a beam across the, two, uh, the top of the two side pieces and then put notches in between into the top brace here. Using that stick, if I drill uh, a nail or a screw into that, put it up, and then that could be a holder for that side. 
So originally I wanted a full beam to go from one side to the other, but when I went to the builders merchants this morning they just didn't have any that size. So I had to settle for what they had. So this is what I've got at the moment. I've got, I've managed to notch one end, uh, but the other end I didn't know because the uh, ceiling was so badly out, I couldn't get uh, a measurement for this size. So what I've done, using this stick, I've levelled this bottom uh, piece of wood into place and now I can just go along and work out the size of each of the notches. So that's the first lot of noggins in place now and uh, I've made a bit of a boo-boo. When I last spoke I said that I'd have to measure each one out individually but I don't. Because I've levelled up the ceiling now they were all the same size. A bit of a mistake on my part but easily remedied, all sorted. I'm just going to carry on and finish off this side now and attach the two with a few screws to attach them both together. So do you remember a little while ago that I had sort of mentioned that the floor was level? Luckily the only thing that's level is the floor. Well guess what, it's not. This house just throws up more and more things. So we know that this is level, this is level. Floor, however, is not. We've got the two side bearers here and over there. And as I said, that's where the door is going to be going into. So I need to take them off and route out uh, for that. But these are both exactly the same size. And I've got a gap here of eight millimeters. So at the present moment, it doesn't kick up too much of a problem. But when I put in the lower rail, that is where I'm going to have to shim it to make sure that that is totally and utterly level because otherwise the doors will just not run as they're meant to. We've now put in the rails top and bottom. The bottom I haven't uh, screwed in yet, they do recommend that you try out one of the doors before you do that. They say before you screw the bottom down, you should put, put the, the doors in. door in. Just so we're going to uh, rip down one of the doors, put it into place and see how we stand at the moment. say you learn as you go along and I'm definitely learning on this job because it's just so awkward there's just so many things that can go wrong and they have but the door I've put on and it looks fantastic it slides really nicely and as you saw I had to make some minor adjustments and um, they just look really nice I mean 
they slide really nicely, There's, it's not getting caught up anywhere and I found I don't have to adjust the bottom rail as I was expecting to. So I'm, I'm overall I'm quite happy. Uh, my mum and dad have had a look and they're all so pretty happy but then again anything's better than what my dad would have come up with. We've found out now that I cannot uh, route in the two sides. It's these bits here. I was hoping to um, put a little bit of a, a, a dado in here just so when the door closes it'll be a nice little pocket for them to hide away. But unfortunately I can't do that now because it's just so close to the edge and I don't want to ruin the wood. Now we've had a little bit of a think and I've mentioned to my parents as well. Uh, I'm going to be covering the top with an MDF and uh, that's also going to come down and cover up all this metalwork as well. I, I've, I've suggested that we run the MDF down either side and we'll have it coming out of, uh, just a little bit shy of here. Um, so when the door is closed it looks like it's going into that pocket. Doing this as well you'll also find the gaps that are left by um, all the walls being so badly out. I can scribe all the MDF and put it into place, screw it, and you'll never see any gap there at all. What we're going to be working on now is I want to make some platforms to go in um, all these three sections here. I call them sections purely for the fact that they're all different sizes. You've got a narrow one here, uh, a little bit bigger, and it's going to be a little bit bigger there, I know it is, because this house is just so badly out. As I said at the start of the video, the platforms are going to be trying to hold back my dad's dodgy wallpaper in. Now, also as well, it, it just hides all the uh, floorboards away, and once the MDF goes down for a flooring, hopefully that will just give it a nice finished look. So the light is now fading on us outside and we're drawing to a close on part one of this wardrobe build. As you've just seen, I've put in all the platforms now and they're screwed down to the floor and it's all nice and level. You may have noticed that I've left a little bit of a gap here and that's purely for the fact that these platforms are going to have an 18mm MDF finish on the top. Because I don't want any of this wood to be seen, I'm also going to be carrying over that MDF onto the front and that's going to go all the way across just to give it a nice finished look. So to finish off today, we're going to be screwing in these pieces of the wood on both sides into the concrete. both of these sides and um, I just try to pack those out as straight as possible using the spirit level. Uh, it's not going to be perfect but I'm just trying to work with what I've got. I hope you liked this video. Until the next time, I'll see you soon.